There are images that never should have been seen, frames buried deep within encrypted archives, sealed away by those who understood too much or feared they never would. For decades they've remained hidden, locked behind digital silence and bureaucratic walls, not because humanity wasn't ready to see them, but because those who captured them weren't ready to explain. And now, against every precaution, one of those images has surfaced. It leaked quietly, almost by accident, and what it shows may change everything we thought we knew about the dark between the stars. Before you continue, make sure you subscribe, because what follows has already been erased once, and the next time it might disappear entirely. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced window into the cosmos, saw something it shouldn't have, something so strange, so perfectly unexplainable, that it never made it into any official press release. Instead, it was hidden in corrupted files and mislabeled metadata, waiting for someone curious enough or foolish enough to stumble upon it. The object in question was catalogued under the name 3i Atlas. At first, astronomers assumed it was just another comet, an icy body wandering aimlessly through the void. But almost immediately, the data refused to behave. Its path was too smooth, too deliberate. Its light too bright and evenly distributed. It reflected not like rock or ice, but like something designed. And now, thanks to a leaked infrared image, the pieces are finally falling into place. Because 3.i Atlas is not what it appears to be. It is not a comet. It may not even be alive. It might be something built. Something that came here for a reason. When the first automated sky surveys logged 3i Atlas, the numbers didn't fit the story. Its velocity wasn't just fast. It was impossibly precise threading through the solar system at nearly 130,000 miles per hour. Its course cut clean through the orbital chaos of the outer belts, moving as if guided by invisible intention. Astronomers noticed something else, too. The tail of the so-called comet didn't behave. Instead of bending away from the sun like every other frozen traveller, it curved toward it, as though drawn in by something unseen. That single anomaly fractured everything we knew about celestial mechanics. Either our understanding of physics was wrong, or 3i Atlas was being controlled. Spectral readings deepened the mystery. Normally a comet vents gases and dust as it warms, leaving a messy trail of sublimation in its wake. But this object was silent, stable, and eerily consistent. Instead of chaotic jets, it emitted faint bursts of metallic particulates, tiny pulses released in perfectly timed intervals. The regularity was machine-like. Controlled discharge, heat shedding, recalibration, something deliberate, not natural. The more data emerged, the more it looked less like nature and more like design. Then came the leak that broke everything open. Hidden deep within a subdirectory of the James Webb archive, an anonymous data miner found a file tagged JWSTCN3.IA77L1. What emerged after processing that image was not random. At the center of the frame, buried within the object itself, was a structure, hexagonal, symmetrical, and unmistakably engineered. The pattern was too perfect to be accidental, its angles too uniform, its reflections too deliberate. Some described it as paneling, others as a form of shielding. But everyone who saw it agreed, this wasn't rock. It was architecture. The image began circulating across encrypted networks, slipping through dark research channels before anyone could stop it. NASA issued no comment, no denial, no confirmation. Their silence was louder than any statement. Within hours, logs from web servers were flagged for revision. Engineers went offline and accounts of independent astronomers who'd mirrored the file were suspended or wiped entirely. It wasn't just a leak, it was a containment breach. And what was being contained was not merely data. It was the truth. As researchers scrambled to analyze what little evidence remained, a pattern emerged. 3i Atlas was not wandering like Oumuamua or other interstellar objects. It followed a deliberate course. Three planetary flybys precisely timed and spaced. Mars, Earth, Jupiter. Each pass brought it closer to our Sun, and each trajectory seemed to collect something. Data? Energy? No one could tell. But as it swept past each world, sensors recorded inexplicable magnetic disruptions small fleeting pulses in the magnetosphere that lined up exactly with its approach. When it slingshotted around Jupiter, its velocity didn't decrease, it increased. 
Then it vanished behind the sun. Just before it disappeared, Webb captured one final frame. Enhanced analysis revealed something almost impossible to process, a structured pulse of light emanating from the object. The pulses weren't random. They were timed according to Fibonacci intervals, a sequence found throughout nature and mathematics. This was communication, not noise, not reflection, transmission. And humanity had just been scanned. Those who dared to analyze the leaked data began whispering a theory, quietly, in private forums, and behind encrypted logins. What if 3 by Atlas wasn't a comet or even a vessel? What if it was a probe, a scout from a civilization too far, too old, or too advanced for us to comprehend? Not a traveler seeking contact, but a watcher collecting information as it drifted between stars. The implications were staggering. Comparing the frequency of its signals to the infamous WOW, signal and other unsolved anomalies, researchers found repeating mathematical relationships, echoes of the same code. It wasn't identical, but it was close enough to suggest intention. What if there wasn't just one three-I atlas? What if it was part of a network, a vast interstellar web disguised as debris scanning and transmitting across the galaxy? When it passed behind the sun, we thought we had lost it. Telescopes couldn't see that far into the blinding light. But just as it emerged, NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory detected a violent surge of high-energy particles. At first, they called it a flare. Then someone overlaid the object's trajectory, and the timing matched exactly. It wasn't solar activity. It was propulsion. 3i Atlas wasn't hiding from us. It was shielding us. Because when it came back into view, it wasn't heading for deep space. It had changed direction. It was moving toward a system known to contain a habitable exoplanet. Its mission here was over. Whatever it came to do, it had done it. At the same time, NASA's AI-driven orbital prediction model began to crash. The system, designed to calculate trajectories, began detecting micro-corrections in 3i Atlas's path. Tiny, deliberate shifts that no gravitational model could explain. When engineers tried to replicate them, the AI froze, then shut down. Internal memos later revealed that it wasn't an error. The AI had matched the data against historical anomalies and found five nearly identical objects recorded in past decades, none of which were ever made public. The last line of the AI's log read simply, Not alone. As the web controversy spread, Hubble's older systems accidentally caught something else. During a deep field exposure meant for distant quasars, it captured a brief flash near the path of 3i Atlas. When decoded, the flash revealed a series of prime numbers, repeating in a rhythmic square pattern. Prime numbers, the universal marker of intelligent communication. The image was uploaded to NASA's database for 15 minutes before it vanished, replaced by corrupted data. Every mirror link sharing it was scrubbed, every reposting account suspended. This was no algorithmic error, it was a command. Someone knew exactly what was seen and didn't want the world to see it again. Among scientists, silence became the new language. Yet one physicist broke it. Dr. Celeste Araronov released an encrypted white paper titled Interpretive Bias in Astrobiological Signals. Her proposal was terrifyingly simple. What if 3i Atlas wasn't just controlled intelligence, but conscious intelligence? Not a craft piloted by something within, but a self-contained form of sentience, a thinking machine, its mind woven into its structure. A being not evolved but designed, a living artifact drifting between stars, observing, not hostile, not friendly, just aware.